Thank you for calling Vox IT. Your call is important to us. Please may we recommend that you try rebooting and restarting your computer. Hello, welcome to Video Vox, the online video short series where I answer your questions in English, not geek, about technology and the internet. So today's question is, do I really need to reboot my computer? Disclaimer! All advice, recommendations and suggestions given in this video are my own personal opinions and have been based on 20 years experience in the industry. Please don't be hating on me in the comments. Ah, the age old IT question that's guaranteed to annoy the pants off your client and that is, Hello IT, have you tried turning it off and on? And uh, as cliche or annoying as it sounds and as, as much as I hate saying it, unfortunately this will 90% of the time fix your annoying little problems. So first of all, what does reboot mean? To reboot. I shall reboot. It basically means turning it off and then back on again. In fact, actually, if you phone some big providers now, Virgin Media being an example, part of their introductory voicemail on the line tells you to reboot your modem and then call them back later. So it must work, right? So before I try to explain why you should reboot, the first thing you need to understand is, is what actually happens when you reboot. So other than you going to get a coffee, your RAM or your random access memory, when you reboot, is completely wiped. Any pending updates or Windows software installs or anything like that, they're completed and finished off every time you reboot. Any temporary files sat around are deleted and your disk's page file, uh, which is kind of temporary memory, is refreshed. So a lot actually happens just by rebooting your computer. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're working on your computer, leaves kind of like a digital footprint throughout the system and that's there and remembered all of the time if you don't reboot. Along with programs such as Google Chrome and Internet Explorer not closing down properly when you click on that red X in the corner, they still sit in the back background invisible and you can't see them so the only way to get rid of them is to actually reboot regularly if you don't you'll notice your system that will start to slow down and you'll start to get just random error messages that make no sense at all and for me to try to explain the logic of that to you is near on impossible because there is no logic only the the Microsoft gods in the cloud know what's going on so when you reboot it wipes the slate clean you can start afresh and it should hopefully get rid of any annoying error messages or slowness within your system and remember when you ask to reboot we're not trying to do it to be difficult and remember we can tell if you said you have rebooted and you haven't we know these things so in short, rebooting or turning it on and off again will speed up your system and it will clear any temporary error messages and temporary files that were causing you random problems and 90% of the time will fix your random issues. And remember, reboot doesn't just mean yanking the power on something, it means safely shutting it down properly via the correct operating system method just so you don't lose any data or risk any hardware failures. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like would be great, a subscribe would be even better. If you didn't, let me know in the comments box below why and until next time, I can't really think of anything. Put this chain on me.